Hey guys, it's Carrie Ann and I'm back with a May craft room update. So as you can probably tell straight away, it looks a bit like it's shrunk. <laughs> and that's because it kind of has. Um, so what I've done is I've actually separated out my sewing room and my craft room now. So I'll do a separate tour on my brand new sewing room, which I'm really excited about, um, which does mean that I have reduced some of the area in my um, craft space. So I've also sort of changed the use of some things. This little cart here, um, which used to be my colouring chart, now hosts a lot of my planners and diaries, um, and as well as my colouring equipment as well. The two black carts still sort of have mainly the same things, so that um, single line one is for scraps and things of card and paper, and the other one has all sorts of miscellaneous bits and pieces. And for everyone that was asking about this colouring cart before, I will put a link here in this one and also in the blog that I do. Um, this one has also become very popular. Um, I will put another link to this one up as well so you know where you can find this one. It hosts all of my um, tonic goods and it's really good because you can actually get it to hold the pots of embellishment mousse, which are actually quite, quite big pots, um, but it will hold those as well, it, depending on how you hang it so that's how I've done it I've done it so that I've got a slight gap from the edge but it works really really well um, I've also got my glitters and my pots of glimmer paste and various other things and then obviously I've got my hanging magnetic boards with my dies on and my die cutting area this is my product from um, do crafts demonstrator kit so I'm ready to use that in my demonstration starting on Saturday then I've got my magazine rack and then I've got my lights. So these are my photography lights, but I actually use them for when I'm filming. So as you can see, I've got my tripod there on the table. Um, and these lights are fantastic. You can use them with or without the cover that takes away the glare of the light. So I have one for each. And they're just brilliant. They were really reasonable price. I'll put a link for those in the um, description as well and on the blog so that you can get hold of those if you're looking for some really good quality lights for filming or photography. And yeah, I've got my headphones there, my Bluetooth headphones, which I use so that I don't have to have my uh, music or YouTube videos blaring out for the kids so they can do whatever they want to do. Because obviously this is in my living room, so we're, we all spend time in here. It's not just for me. Um, I've got my pens, my pen stand. So that's got all my tonic pens. So I've got my aqua flows in there. I've also got my alcohol pens, the brush script, the glitter markers. The top row is for gelettos. Then I've got my watercolour pencils and my inks there as well. And then my wall has just got a mishmash of photos and bits and pieces that I've made over, over the years that I wanted to keep. Um, what else? Oh, I've got one desk I took away and then I've got two of the smaller desks left in here. So I've got this one, this one that matches and then the big desk in the middle. And then underneath I've got the little trays of things. And because I've started junk journaling a lot more now, I've actually got um, two spaces for junk journal equipment as well. And that's what they're for. So yeah, lots of changes, but lots of um, handy storage ideas as well. So if you have got any questions about any of the storage that you see, then do feel free to ask and I'll get you a link for you. Um, thanks for watching everyone. As always, any questions, just give me a shout and I will do a video separately now for you to show you my brand new sewing room. So happy crafting, guys.